Well, thanks to Stu for getting us underway with some great races there. And we've got leg 10 of the Moors Millions to kick off my stint on day two. And it's a four-miler. And at the top, we've got Eyes of the World for Leon Van Rensburg. Cal Mintha for John Morgan. Ectiham Slave for David Robertson. Take the Long Road, Joshua Sutherland. Inquisitress Wink for Craig Allen. Napa Virginia Raid for David Robertson. Sal's Beauty for... Da um, David Hooley, Bird on the Lawn, Darren Thompson, Compact Bonnie, James Shea, Set the Trend, Paul Rose, The Bancher Man, Alex Cherry, Yakika Mukau, Aurora, James Shea, Zavi Thinkar, Graham Clutterbuck, Blue Penny, Martin Didham, Enroller for Obi-Wan, Lambanese, Craig Beckwith, Maritza, Thomas Rogers, Opponents Advantage, Darren Thompson, Comorgi Faithful, Paul Rhodes, Victory Heights, David Hooley, Plyne Lukey, Martin Didham, Surge, Stu Gray, Ring of Rumour, Page, Alex Cherry, Zinc, Gavin Minan, and Obi-Wan has got the bottom one, I think it was Lakota Ghost, they're away and racing, and a Massive field for this as they come down to the first, which they're all over so far. I think this is the only four mile race this week that isn't a maiden. So I think it's a maiden four miler as well. That's probably one got such a big field. But it's set the trend. He was in the lead. Looks like we're going to get a Paul Rhodes 1 2 as we get over number 2 as they've all successfully negotiated and set the trend. He's the leader from Cumberwee Faithful. As you can see, those two look very similar. It's difficult to tell them apart if they're too close. But hopefully they won't be head bobbing it past the line. And you can't tell which one's which, but it's a leader about three lengths to those pair. From the John Morgan horse coming through in third, then Zinc or Kevin Meadow in fourth. I think that Zinc is having its seasonal reappearance. I think it was around last season and has just come back in. Then comes your kicker Mukau or opponent's advantages in that little group as well. And a gap back to Enroller. He's quite wide on the track, so to his surge. But they've still got an awful long way to go. They get to this first ditch. And they're all safely over that ditch. They've got 21 more fences to take. And they've still got a very long way to go as they get down to the fourth. And Zinc wasn't all that clever at that one. First really serious mistake anybody's made, but he got away with it okay. And Corgi Faithful. And Stable might set the trend. Over that one together, bit of a mistake towards the back by Plyne Lukey. As they get to the sixth. Again, all over it nicely with the leading pair from the Paul Rhodes yard, Cumberwee Faithful, and set the trend. Three lengths clear of Zinc for Kevin Meenham. Then Cal Mintha is in fourth for John Morgan with a permanent advantage in your Kika Mukau Aurora, then Aurora. Uh, in roller, sorry, wide on the track. Zami Thinker and Tibancha Man, Ring a Rumour Page after that. As they come past the winning post and past the big screens, they've got two more circuits of the track to go. And come all ye faithful and set the trend. Oh, setting the pace. From Zinc, who's a clear third. Then comes Opponent's Advantage and Kalminta. You kick a moon cow and roar beyond that one. And then in roll up, that's the leading group. A little bit of a gap, oh, a couple of lengths then. Back to take the long road and compact Bonnie and debanch man. And one or two of these just settled nicely in the back of the pack. They'll be just coasting around this next circuit probably and then get himself in a racing position for the final circuit. Over that one they go and Darren its nose was the second place horse set the trend. Inquisitive wink is just about the back marker at this point. But it's Cumberwee Faithful coming into this ditch with the lead. Over it nicely. And they all got over that one okay as well. Jumping's been pretty good so far. And Cumberwee Faithful, the Zinc has now moved into second, set the trend back in third after that mistake. Then comes Opponent's Advantage. Then Cal Minther in Roller. And you kick a move, Gary Aurora virtually in a line. As they all get over that one. There's a faller at the back there. Blue Penny's gone. So Blue Penny is out of it. That was a winner a couple of weeks ago. And he's out today as they get over number 10. And all safely over number 10 then with just the one DPRT so far. And it's Cumberwee Faithful who is in the lead from Zinc in second. And set the trend third as they get to this plain one. And over it they all go with Victory Heights and Inquisitor's Wink still the back two. Plenty close enough. A long way still to go. Cumberwee Faithful is in front. From Zinc second. And set the trend third. 
And opponent's advantage is fourth, and then Roller is fifth. You hit Kamu Cow, Roller is sixth, and then Cal Winter just dropping back his seventh. Then comes Take the Long Road, and Debancha Man and Compact Body, then Maritza and Zami Think are Sal's Beauty, Bird on my Lawn getting closer a bit earlier this week. And uh, Lakota Ghost is after that, and Napa Pajiri Raid. Another one starting to make a bit of a forward move. Lebanese and Surge are next as they get down towards the next ditch. See them all over that one safely, all nicely over that one, apart from Debancha Man who's gone. So Debancha Man's out of it as they get down to the 13th. And all over it this time. With Come All You Faithful, Zinc. And set the trend, those three. A couple of minutes up on in roll up as they take the 14th. The two slow jumps in mid div. Sounds beauty in particular as they get to the next. And over that one they go. And all safely over that then with the grey zinc now put up on the outside of Come All Ye Faithful as they come up towards the stand. They're going to go past the winning post and then swing out on one more complete circuit of the track. We've lost just two of the 25 strong field. And it's Come All Ye Faithful who's in the lead from Zinc in second. Then set the trend is third and then Roller is four. Opponents have run is five and Cal Minter is six. Nihikamu Karora is seven. And then eight, Zami Thinkar. Nine, Maritza ten. Compact Bonnie eleven is Take the Horror. Then Bird on the Lawn and Sal's Beauty. Eyes of the World and Surge after that. Then Napa Bajiri Road. The Grey Lakota Ghost is next. Then Ecti Ham Slave Victory Heights. In Cusidrus Winks gone past a few including Plyne Lukey. And Labanese and Ringaruma Page is now the back marker. But it's come all you faithful. Still just about in front. From Zinc in second. And set the trend is third. Opponents advantage in Calminta. They take the 16th of the 24. All over that one, okay. Still just the two departed. And come all you faithful and Zinc. A couple of lengths clear off, set the trend and opponents advantage. You kick a move, Cal Aurora still going well on the inside as they take that big ditch. And over that one, there's another one gone at the back there. Victory Heights has gone. So Victory Heights becomes the third horse to depart the race. And come all ye faithful. And Zinc, still one and two. They come to the 18th in Roller has now moved through into third. Mistake there by opponent's advantage. And that has given his opponents the advantage as they, one or two of them anyway, sweep past him. They come down to fence number 19 and come all ye faithful. Jump that a bit slowly after it looked like it was kicking on. Then comes in second place. Zinc set the trend still there in third. Then Aurora Maritza is getting much closer. You kick a move. Cal Aurora still there. Then it's Cal Minther. Opponents advantage trying to recover from that mistake as they get over the next. And over that one they go. They're all safely over that one as well. With come all ye faithful still clearing the lead by about a length and a half to two lengths. To Zinc in second. Maritza and take the high road. And Cal Minther now coming through the race is on in earnest now they've only got five furlongs to race and it's come all ye faithful in the lead now being strongly pressed by take the long road and take the long road taking it up but Cal Minther immediately challenges on the outside they've got four more fences to take then and it's take the long road and Cal Minther they've suddenly gone four or five clear come all ye faithful's got no more trying to run off from the back bird on the lawn Plyne Lukey's running a massive race on the outside Zinc's dropped away from it as well they're coming out towards the final four fences then now this is the final ditch over it they go and it's take the long road and Cal Minter from Zami Thinkar. Zinc was a faller. Back in third is Zami Thinkar. Burn on the lawn. Then Plyne Lukey over to third. Last they go. It's take the long road. Who's over in front? From Cal Minter in second. Zami Thinkar is running on in third. Then comes Burn on the lawn. Maritza in. Rollers trying to get back into it. At the second last they go. And it's take the long road and Cal Minter. But look at this. Zami Thinkar. Zami Thinkar on the outside. He's really throwing down a charge at the final fence. They go. Take the long road over in the front. Zami Thinkar made a mistake. Cal Minter has got nothing left and take the long road racing into the final furlong is clear by two lengths Cal Minton is trying his best to close so too Zami Thinkar running into fourth is Sal's Beauty take the long road needs a line here comes Cal Minter Cal Minter's beginning to get up on the outside Zami Thinkar back in third but it's Cal Minter who takes it up in the shadow of the post and Cal Minter is going to take it Cal Minter wins it take the long road second then Zami Thinkar on in roller and Sal's Beauty and then Maritza and Lamanese and Bird on the lawn and Pline Lukey and all the way back to Ecti Slave who was the last one to finish and John Morgan's Cal Minther steals it in the final quarter furlong so that'll be a good winner for him Cal Minther, John Morgan the winner take the long road for Joshua so looks all over the winner over the last 
was ended up second. Zami Thinkar, Graham Clutterbuck. But for that mistake, at the last might want to finish close up. Uh, fourth. We'll get back to it in a minute. I've got a feeling it might have been one of David Hooley's. It was Obi-Wan's enrol was fourth and Sal's Beauty was fifth for David Hooley. <laughs> 